So Palm Beach Boat Show 2022. Behind me is a Sabre 58, beautifully built with a vacuum infused hull. So high tech construction mixed in with super high build quality and serious technology in this boat. So we're gonna take a look around. I'll just turn you around. So as you can see, she has lovely traditional lines but you can see with all this flush glass she is a very high-tech boat indeed now these boats are built in Maine New England so it's not a pretender this is the real deal this is a down east built down east style boat and performance wise she can run at a very impressive 33 knots and cruise at 28 knots for a full 350 miles powered by twin IPS 950 motors so not just that with the pod drives you get joystick control and you get the economy from the pod drives so let's take a step on board and we'll take a look around so let's start at the bathing platform she has a high low bathing platform as you can see we have these chocks built in here to carry a jet rib or uh, a, a semi-inflatable rib tender um, we've also we've got a very large storage space flip up storage space here aft which will carry all of your fenders and lines and keep everything neatly tucked away unfortunately I can't open that right now because as you can see we have a spring line which is obstructing it we also have port and starboard boarding moving up onto the boat up the starboard side hiding beneath this floor huge engine hatch and also you've got these port and starboard hatches are the twin Volvo IPS units uh, they're IPS 950s on this boat which will propel her to 33 knots with an effective cruise range 350 miles at 27 knots and of course you've got this lovely beautifully finished teak table you have a joystick control aft as well for ease of, of docking and, and maneuvering and you can see the quality and just how solid this boat is so let's set up the side decks and have a look around uh, one thing that's notable with this Sabre is grab rails galore as you head up the side deck and although she's this sort of retro looking down east style of boat you've got all this flush glass and a lovely glass area to this helm and all flawless stainless steel work and this gorgeous varnish teak capping all the way around the boat and some serious ground tackle here you've got room for two anchors here if needed and she's very pretty indeed so we'll head aft and take a look around the boat so this boat is galley aft which when you see down below you'll understand why this works so well but it means with these huge bifold doors that you can be part of the group be part of the conversation when you're entertaining and you're serving guests so we have this lovely Corian marbleized worktop a Miele combination microwave and oven and you have an induction hob sink obviously and then oh, excuse me locked in place dishwasher storage more storage and then you have a pull out mini pantry unit and then over here to starboard trash and of course your refrigeration and there are four refrigeration drawers on this boat So 
So moving forward, this down east New England style boat with its teak and holly floor is beautifully arranged. So you have this freestanding seating here, TV, 50 inch TV which drops down, it's on a hydraulic lift that drops down and hides away. And these huge, huge windows just bathing the area with light. And we also have this folding blind so you've actually got an open top if you did so want. It's, it's actually got a sliding roof back here. And you've got this lovely twin seat station forward. Now here, particularly impressive, is the helm. So this is a fully integrated boat. So it uses um, it, a computerized system, C system, um, to integrate all the features of this boat. So everything can be controlled from these screens or from an iPad sitting anywhere on the boat. And um, we have, obviously, you've got your twin throttle controls and you've got your autopilot. This boat is equipped with a Sea Keeper as well. You've got a remote for the Garmin's, you've got your manual switches and these gorgeous helm seats and with this, these flip down footrests. And you've got access to the side decks or you can open these up and then you can talk to your crew very easily out the side of the boat. But let's take a look forward. Now, this particular boat being IPS powered is also can be IPS driven so it's not just docking this boat can be driven from this joystick whilst you're underway so you can just sit back and relax and pilot the boat if you're not on autopilot and you don't want to stand and run the helm so a lot of options here and we have built-in blinds all down the side so you can see these hidden here and these drop down so you can have some privacy and enclose the saloon when you're in a marina. So let's head down. She's again just, I, I love all this teak and the teak and holly floor. It just really gives it that mixture of modern and traditional feel. So you've obviously got laundry, you've got a dedicated washer dryer, storage. This storage continues all the way down through here. I'm going to take you forward. So we have here, this is the day head. It's also got its own shower. And this also services the forward VIP through this door here. And then moving forward, we walk into this gorgeous, forward VIP. So we've got a king size bed. Of course you've got all these built in drawers. Teak and holly floor. You've got this lovely tongue and grooved teak all the way down the sides of this boat and it just gives it that lovely traditional feel but she's clearly very very modern. You've got twin drawers underneath the bed. Hanging storage. This is cedar lined to keep everything fresh. And you have this lovely traditional styled, very, very yacht orientated design in the ceiling. Just a lovely place to be. So moving aft, we've got a twin cabin. Again, you can see the same sort of detail. Obviously flat screen TV. This has its own dedicated head. And what I like, they fitted solid grab rails. And there's, you know, really, really good grab rails all the way around this boat you feel very secure in this boat and we carry on it you know just carry on with this lovely tip cabinetry so let's head aft heading down and aft obviously being an IPS boat they've been able to move the engines way far back which has allowed this boat to have this so this is a privately owned boat we can't open this section this is the owner's cabin but this gives you a really good idea of the space at the moment where I'm standing I'm in seven foot headroom and as I come down this step to the center of the boat I've got six and a half feet overhead all the way around this cabin and of course you've got your big 55 inch flat screen TV and this lovely teak tongue groove 
is carried on through the boat. And I like the way they've done these these windows here. You kind of get this feeling. It's almost like being on an old sailing ship, particularly here, you know, in the aft cabin, looking out over the water. It's absolutely lovely. And to starboard, you have a dressing table. And we have this pull-out seat that locks in and stows whilst underway. And here is the master heads. Very, very roomy. Again, tons of headroom in here. And really clean marble floors, just teak and white. Just acres of it. It's lovely. A really nice place to be. She's 66 foot length overall, including the bathing platform, hull length of 58 foot 9, beam is 16 foot 2, and a draft of 4 foot 9. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe.